what is up you guys and welcome back to my channel it's mariah if you are new here hello if you are returning hey hey here on my channel we talk about all things at disney law and lifestyle and today we're definitely talking a little bit of lifestyle and specifically we are going to be talking about um the christian planner so but before i get into it please go ahead and hit subscribe on my channel so that you can be notified when i post a new video and really in order to to get notified really hit that bell so that you know get notified when i do post a new video um so be sure to do that i know y'all been looking at my channel you've been dating me let's make this thing official but anyway let's go ahead and get into it so like i've said we're going to be talking about i want to do an overview of the christian planner i've been using this planner since gosh i think 2018 since 2018 i think this particular planner is going to be is my fifth it's either my fifth or sixth planner i want to say fifth i'm actually pretty sure it's my fifth um so this is kind of what i'm talking about it's the planner that i have exclusively been using i've done some overviews of past um planners and i want to do one of the 2023 planner this year i actually got the one that i the, my one that i'm using now is actually over there it's red for this year but this year i ended oh this is how just so that you know it comes like it comes in this box i just showed you just showed y'all and yeah it just came in this little box and it has this on here it just says you know christian planner 2023 on it right there and i ended up getting this beautiful like blue gray blue color for this year so i'm trying to get a different color for every year i'm trying to run through the colors basically because <laughs> i've been using this, them for a really long time um it's not this by the way this video is not sponsored but um but yeah hey if christian planner if you're watching i would love to talk about something because i have been using y'all's planners for a really long time and I really do love them. And so I am going to kind of get into, you know, the weeds of everything. I'll, I'll, you know, do a bit, uh, I'm going to switch to an, a view where y'all can kind of see the inside um, of this planner. We can walk through what all is in here and y'all can see if this is something that you might would consider purchasing for you. Like I said, I've been using it for a really long time and because I am a Christian, I like that it incorporates my faith into my planning. There are spaces and you'll see this in a minute here, spaces where you can write down Bible study notes, sermon notes, um, all of that. There are verses at the top of pretty much every page. You'll get to kind of see some of that as we walk through. So we'll be back in a second. All right, y'all. So here is a look. I'm doing a look inside the planner. And just so that I go ahead and get this out the way, please do not mind my nails. I do need to get them done. But I wanted to go ahead and show you what all is in inside the planner. So first, let me turn back. So here's a space where you can put your, you know, your name and email here. And it says 2013, I mean 2013, <laughs> 2023 Christian Planner. Um, this first page is just a note from the company. And it you know, just shows you like how to use your planner. So, you know, it says at the beginning of the year, talking about designing your vision board, which I'll show you in a second, filling out your uh, healthy habit goals every week dive into your weekly devotional um and it's just talking about how there are two pages where you can have sermon notes and bible study notes for each week of the year which of course i'll show you all of these um but it, then it says every day write in your daily appointments tasks and top priorities of course because this is a planner and then you know your they have daily healthy habit trackers and then every month of course writing down any monthly events and goals and things like that um, so here, these next couple of pages are just a 2023 and 2024 overview. So you can just kind of see where the days fall and things like that. And it has the holidays and where they fall for both 2023 over here and 2024. And then here is that vision board. So it's a huge blank space and it just says my vision board right here. And I don't know if you can tell, but it says cut and paste photos, write down words, quotes, prayers, draw pictures, etc. Um, this is your visions where you can write down any visions that you feel like um, God has really been speaking to you about. That's pretty much what I do here. 
um, each year. I haven't done mine yet, um, but I just want to show you everything blank because um, I'm not trying to really show what I'm doing, but just show the planner itself. Uh, and then here is what they were talking about. See if I can turn this a little bit so you can kind of see. But it says, my healthy habit goals. And then it says, pray and make covenant with God this year in each quadrant. Write down what you can do to improve your life, um, your relationship with Christ and your relationship with others. Big, small, personal, and spiritual, everything counts. So here, there was a quadrant here for daily um, habit goals, weekly habit goals, monthly habit goals, quarterly, uh, habit goals. And then here is a space for yearly goals. So it says 2023 goals, write down your goals you would like to accomplish this year. So there's that and it's turned to the side and I'm just going to show you January because pretty much at, you know, each month repeats the same thing. So I'm just going to show you one portion of it. So here on the monthly spread page, it has, you know, the month and then just, where the days fall of the year and of course it'll have any holidays already kind of written in here and then over here I am not sure if you can tell but it says monthly goals so you can write down your monthly goals here and then there are blank spaces down here if you want to draw if you're artsy person you can do that you can write um, normally I write I, I normally write I don't really I'm not an artistic person necessarily in terms of that and so at least with these with my planner um i will just kind of write a bunch of stuff or you could if you have stickers or something like that you can do that sometimes i'll continue my monthly goals down here or so uh, sometimes in a previous previous planners that they've had they've had spaces down here talking about what you accomplished in the previous month and i actually really like that so i kind of continued to do some of that i didn't do it consistently or faithfully but uh, that's something that I use the space for just to give an example of something you could do down here. Um, kind of reflect on your goals from last month, you know, kind of write down results from that or just what, you know, what you learned from that or whatever. And then at the top of each page, you will always see a, 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 a scripture here, a verse. So here it has First Chronicles 16, 11. And then before each week, you will have a, a space for your sermon notes, this is what they were talking about before. It says weekend devotional. This is says sermon notes here. I, I always write down my sermon notes here, and then this is the space they're talking about for Bible study. So if you have a Bible study, this is where you can write down notes, or you can sometimes, you know, I will continue to write. Sometimes the sermon is so good, and you have a lot of notes, so I continue the sermon notes over here. But you can do anything you want with the space, really. It doesn't matter. You could draw again, stickers, whatever the case is. And then again, verse verses at the top of pretty much every right-handed page of the planner. Like here, you see it here again in the weekly spread. So here's the weekly spread. Here's the same thing right here. It says uh, weekly goals. If you can tell right here, weekly goals. And then um, just the week where you can write down your priorities, tasks, things like that, just like you would in a normal planner. And then here is that daily healthy habit tracker um, that, you know, they were talking about. It says for you, for God, and for others. And that's pretty much what I use the space for. I use it for personal things for me. What I'm doing to grow daily habits that I'm doing, tracking to grow my spiritual life and relationships and things like that so I will I will do that like for example I have a space for exercise you know tracking off you know did I exercise that day or whatever the case is so it's it's you know pretty much um in just in terms of spiritual you know I'll put you know pray read my bible you know things like that um or do quiet time um but that's the weekly spread every week you'll have that and so it just repeats you'll have your sermon note page your you know bible study page or free space whatever you want to call it and then there's the that week's um weekly spread so it just keeps it literally repeats every single um every single week and then you get to the next month so that is pretty much it and it repeats so i'm just going to kind of show you guys the back here in the back is just blank pages it does have you know, these little, these, uh, you know, crosses and things, but I use these for free spaces. You can write in it, whatever you want here. So that is pretty much it. When you get here, it says time to reorder your cushion planner, which I do because this is the planner that I have just enjoyed using for, this is my fifth one. So five years, that is pretty much it.
All right, you guys, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know below if this is the type of planner that you would like to purchase. You know, maybe let me know what types of planners you guys have been using. I'm curious to know. I'll actually leave a link below to the Christian planner if this is something that you might be interested in buying as well. So, so yeah, just be sure to check out the link in my description for, for that. All right, guys, I think that's gonna be it for today's video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.